welcome to lesson 3 of this video series where I am explaining you how Bitcoin works, how blockchain works under the hood and today we are going to talk about how Bitcoin blockchain works and what's inside particular block. How this slide which I have created and as you know guys if you are interested you will be able to download this PowerPoint presentation under last video of this video series. And here in this slide you can see how Bitcoin blockchain works and first a layer is transactions. These are the any transactions which are happening on Bitcoin blockchain. For example, someone is sending a Bitcoin to someone for something or John is sending a Bitcoin to Lisa or Lisa is sending Bitcoin to some online shop for some payment to another wallet. First thing what happens is transactions and second thing is that these transactions are getting into the mempool. This means that when you are making a Bitcoin payment, it doesn't mean that that Bitcoin payment straight away gets through. For example, John is sending a Bitcoin to me, I am not getting that Bitcoin straight away. As you remember from my previous video, before Bitcoin transaction to go through, it takes from 10 to 90 minutes. That means that 10 to 90 minutes all this process is happening after transaction has been executed or after I have sent Bitcoin to John, that transaction is getting placed into the mempool. All unconfirmed transactions are broadcasted to mempool. And when these transactions are being broadcasted to mempool, then comes in miners. And miners is third step. Miners take transactions from mempool and place them into block and do mining proof of work. What miners are doing, they are taking transactions, putting them into the blocks. And when they have placed the transactions into the blocks, they do mining. And how mining works, we will talk in one of my future videos. After block has been mined, it has been added at the end of blockchain and here you can see at the very bottom guys how blockchain looks so blockchain is a sequence of blocks of all history of transactions so each block contains a transaction history so block one for example contains the history transactions from the very very first transactions which were executed on bitcoin blockchain only the last blocks are the recently mined transactions one more unique thing about blockchain is that each next block contains information about previous block block 5 contains information about block 4 and block 4 contains information about block 3 and it is hashed information of header and we will talk about it as well in a second what's inside the block block has a block number and there is actually much more information which you can find on blockchain.info and I will show you that as well in a second I will demonstrate you in blockchain.info where you can see that information which is stored in particular block as you can see block number this is what each block has and then we have a hash of this block so each block has a hash of two SHA-256 and we will talk about SHA-256 algorithm and how it is getting hashed and it is hashing actually headers of each block each block has a hash of previous blocks so block 3 has a hash of block 2 and block 2 has a hash of block 1 and block 1 doesn't have a hash of previous block because there is no previous block that's why block 1 is called genesis block in bitcoin blockchain and then we have nouns and nouns is used by miners to do hashing some people are saying that mining is a complex process but when we will go through mining you will understand that mining is only changing this nouns number until the correct hash is getting received and then we have Merkel root and Merkel root if you are interested you can check out more information on YouTube how Merkel root works but pretty much Merkel root is a hash of all transactions which are being mined in each block talking about mining returning to mining in Bitcoin blockchain technology new block is being created on average every 10 minutes and original block size as you can see here guys I have outlined the original block size which has been created by its founder Satoshi Nakamoto was 1 megabyte however currently block sizes are much big much bigger and they might be much bigger theoretically they can reach up to 4 megabytes and if you check for example block 505253 you can and see that its size is 2 megabytes and of course also transactions are included into each block and transactions are included not in header but they are kind of body of particular block 
run other thing which you should know is that on average every 10 minutes a block is being mined and added to Bitcoin blockchain. One more thing about mining, miners for mining one block or adding a one block so every 10 minutes when miners find or mine a block they receive 12.5 bitcoin for each block mined they also receive all transaction fees for all transactions which are included in that particular block one more thing which you should know about it is a halving that halving is on bitcoin blockchain technology is happening every four years next halving will be in 2020 and currently bitcoin miners are getting 12.5 bitcoin for mining one block but in 2020 when will next four years will pass it will be 6.25 bitcoin only for mining and you might say that this will not be profitable for miners and miners will stop mining in that way th probably those transactions in future might not be approved but guys the thing is that bitcoin blockchain technology has been created on purpose this way because the more people start using bitcoin the more bitcoin is generated in this mining process as you can see here guys this means that in future miners will be mining only for transaction fees when last bitcoin will be mined and as you remember from my previous videos i, I told you that last mined bitcoin 21 million will be in 2140 in year 2140 now let's get into blockchain.info as you can see here guys you can find more information on blockchain.info and blockchain.info is user interface of node every node in bitcoin blockchain contains all information and we will talk about nodes in next video but now let's get into the blockchain.info website here we can see that block explorer Explorer. this means that you can see all blocks you can find all transactions in each block and if you scroll down you can see recent blocks which has been mined currently block 554773 is like 554773rd block was last mined and it was mined three minutes ago and in this block server included 2346 transactions and this is updated all the time and this is like you are viewing on blockchain.info you are kind of seeing this like in live you can see live how many transactions how many blocks has been mined age three minutes and block before was 772 then block before was 71 and then block before was 70 and block before was mine 69 so blocks are rising so each block has its number Number. and last block was mined already as you can see it's updated itself four minutes ago and here you can see transactions how many transactions were included in particular block for example this block 554,769 it was mined 27 minutes ago and it included 2,648 transactions into it and here you can see miners or these are mining pools which we will talk about as well in one of my future videos because there is rather much to cover about mining pools and there is actually much more information so we will talk about it in greater detail in one of my future videos but this is a mining pool which consists of lots of miners which are dedicating their hashing power in mining and they are getting part of rewards for my particular mo block mined. Now here on the blockchain info you can see what is inside particular block. For example let's click into this last block as you see it's already updated it's already five minutes ago mined. Click on it and here you can see what is inside particular block. Like I mentioned it has its hash number and it has a previous block so this is a hash of previous block and this is a hash of this particular block and in next video I will show you and explain you actually in video after next video because in next video I will explain you what is Bitcoin network and how what is Bitcoin nodes and how Bitcoin network works but in this video you just take a look here on blockchain.info and I will leave a link under this video as well to blockchain.info come in and check this out for yourself but like I mentioned I will explain you each of these parameters where they are coming from but hash is a hashed header information of this particular block and here we can see previous block and this is a header information of previous block and here note that these are zeros in front of the each of these hash and just now for now just note that there are zero 
zeros in front of each of this hash what are these zeros pretty much is a difficulty level the more zeros are in front of this hash the more difficulty level is adjusted to bitcoin blockchain for now just note and remember guys that the more zeros are in front of hash the more difficult is to mine the block and blockchain is adjusting this difficulty level itself and this is happening because that every 2000 blocks a new difficulty level is getting readjusted to blockchain and blockchain is doing itself to not get mined because of, as you understand the 21 million bitcoin has to be mined only by 2140 so blockchain is programmed in that way that this is ad al adding a difficulty level to not allow miners to mine faster that means that it doesn't matter how many miners will be mining anyway blockchain will adjust to keep this uh, Bitcoin to be mined only in 2140s year but we will talk about it later and you will understand what is hashing and what is difficulty level and then you will understand how this all works in greater detail but one more thing what I wanted to show you is this block reward as you can see currently we are having 12.5 bitcoin per mining one block so one block mining is currently 12.5 bitcoin and here is this nouns which i was talking about and this we will talk about this nouns when we will get into mining but pretty much this is the number which is getting changed in header of block by miners when they are doing mining so only thing what they are changing is this nouns number size like i mentioned originally size was uh, one megabyte but currently as you can see this is 1142 1, kilobytes this means that this is already this block is higher than one megabyte difficulty level which you can also see here here you can see bits here you can see timestamp and many more things and here if you scroll down we see all transactions which has been included in these particular blocks and we will talk about transactions in detail as well what are the what they mean why there are sometimes uh, one input and why there is three three outputs i will explain you this when we will get into transactions as well guys so yes this is pretty much how blockchain works and we will get in all these details which i discussed previously in slides as well in greater detail we will get into transactions and we will get into blocks and we will get into mining and many more things in future videos so guys if you are interested in these videos stay tuned and see you in my next video then check this out